Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Cross watcher, if you're in here, feel free to flip the rolls. But Spirit, what do we have here for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign? Aries, Leo or a Sag? You have it wasn't me at the bottom of the deck. So that is my compulsive liar card. Now the card that is coming out first, it says a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. And then you have this temperance energy going forward, okay? And the temperance talks about, you know, peace, balance, harmony, that kind of energy. I'm also hearing something about doing something in moderation. Now, the temperance can also talk about divine intervention. I see someone here who is ill. I mean, I don't know if this could be some sort of like stomach issues. Doesn't have to be. This could be a mental energy as well. Virgil's dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. So, hmm. We have Courthouse coming out. And then we also have the Distant Horizon. There could also be something here about a death, okay? Um, definitely it's not going to be for everyone. Uh... Show me more. Yeah, someone could definitely have some sort of legal situation going on as now. But what is courthouse? Someone could work um, as a judge or lawyer or something. We have the moon. And the moon talks about someone's emotions. It can talk about someone's intuition, imagination. But, you know, it is the moon and it can talk about things that are hidden and unseen. Yeah, I think I just caught confirmation there. Now you have the crossroads, okay, that is coming out. Now, I'm noticing, I've been seeing a lot of mirroring energy today with numbers and things. I mean, it could have a lot to do with, now I'm thinking about it, it could have a lot to do with this Saturn return, right? Things are being returned to people. Karma is being returned to people, Um Because you have a number 23 here with the courthouse, okay, which could be significant, or the number 32, but it boils down to a five. So again, this energy of change, and then the moon is mirroring that number, it's a number 32. And then obviously if we swapped it the other way around, it would be 23. Anyway, going forward, this could be about money and finances here. This could even be about child support for some of you with the bear card coming out here. Uh, going forward, you have the crossroads, okay? And the crossroads talks about, it kind of, the crossroads kind of makes me always think of like the two of swords where there's maybe a stalemate situation or someone has a maybe a real tough choice to make about something. Um... But the crossroads also talks about hesitation. It can talk about separation here and someone needing to make some sort of decisions going forward. I'm hearing with the, this temperance card, right, it is an egg time I'm hearing. Time is ticking. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> time is ticking. So what is this spirit? Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Okay, I just wanted to check how much time I had on the clock. Yeah, see, time is ticking. So maybe it was for me to check the time. I don't know. But all right, Spirit, what is this? I'm 
Virgo's dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Yeah, we have this page of pentacles. So someone could be getting some good news here about a court situation. Yeah, six of wands. You know, the Page of Pentacles talks about a solid beginning. It talks about, you know, um, laying the foundation for something. You have this Nine of Swords. You have the Sun card. Oh, there's definitely good news here for somebody. Sun card talks about positivity, happiness, joy. Maybe you're just very, yeah, I was about to say, in Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the day, I was going to say, maybe you're just very focused on your investments, on your money and things like that here, Virgos. What is the Page of Pentacles and the Sun? This could even be a pregnancy for somebody. Eight of Swords. Well, someone's in their head. Could be a fire sign. You've got Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck or your confidence makes somebody... Um, I guess feel hopeless or powerless somehow or someone has lost some sort of control over something what's this queen of wands ten of pentacles five of pentacles yeah something here has to do with finances money uh, an inheritance here or this could even be a marriage why the eight of swords why the eight of swords I'm also hearing something, especially with this moon out here, there could have been something that was exposed as well. Like I said, I don't know if there's, you're going to hear something about this um, fire sign here. You have the six of swords. Yeah, someone here is moving to calmer waters. Mm -hmm. This is the calm after the storm. What's the six of wands? What's the six of wands? Coming out almost sideways. For some of you, a blockage for this fire sign is either how much self-love you have or about you getting into a new relationship. Or again, heavy energy about pregnancy. <laughs> what the hell? Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands. There's good luck on your side here, Virgos. Or it's on someone's side. This is good karma. This is something here is fate and destiny. What's the Nine of Swords? This definitely could have to do with someone's career or business or something like that. Some of you may be in the public eye. What's the Nine of Swords, the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups? I'm sure that came out sideways. Three of Cups energy. Reunited and it feels so good. But I don't know if there is any recognition here. <laughs> it feels like someone wants to make you an offer, right, with this Knight of Cups. They want to come in with some sort of proposal here. They want to take some action. Give me one on this Knight of Cups. Oh my goodness. A man. Do you know what it is? <laughs> the reason why I'm a little bit stunned is they were playing a song just before the card flipped out. And the song, and I'm thinking, why are they playing that? And then the Seven of Swords comes out. They were playing the song by TLC. It was playing the other day. It's, and it's the song Creep. It, right? So I creep. Yeah. So I keep it on the down low. Because nobody else has to know. So this person wants to make you an offer in secret. Or that the What's the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? The Six of Swords. Okay. What's the seven of swords and the six of swords? Yeah. It's almost like they want to creep towards you or they don't want... <laughs> what is this? Queen of Pentacles, your energy. Clarify the seven of swords again. Because this is like an energy of strategy, scheming, the hierophant. King of wands at the bottom of the deck with the three of wands, knight of pentacles. What's the hierophant? The strength card. Leo energy. 
Oh, what's the Hierophant and the Strength card for the Seven of Swords? The world. One more spirit. Uh, Virgos, I, I don't know. Like I said, with the Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune out here. I don't know if you are some sort of leader or something like this with this Hierophant energy. I mean, it could have something. No, it didn't come out in the reverse, though. I don't know if you're in some sort of leadership role, especially with this strength coming out here. Uh, this could also say to me that you have a very strong connection with the Most High here. I just don't know why that Seven of Swords came out. So there's something that this person is not being honest about. Clarify this. I really didn't want to dwell on this, but clarify the Seven of Swords real quick. Ten of Wands. King of Cups. What's the Seven of Swords? And the King of Wands. Okay, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> listen. Um, uh, man, do I want to say that? Uh, for some of you, it's... Um, to some of you, this person may be into the same sex. What's the temperance in the distant horizon and the crossroads? <laughs> Moving on swiftly. Coming out sideways is a five of pentacles. Okay. Show me more. Virgos in a world fire sign. Yeah, the chariot. Some of you moving forward, you may be leaving this person out in the cold. I don't know if this person is struggling financially or if they... I just see someone sleeping in their car as well. Um, show me more. Coming out. Uh, I... I Moon landing on the eight of swords. <laughs> this fire sign worried about something coming to light. What's the five of pentacles? What's the five of pentacles? The ace of swords, which talks about truth and clarity, victory and success, breakthroughs, realizing the truth. What's the Ace of Swords? <laughs> Hangman in the reverse on the lovers. I mean, oops, I didn't even meant to say the lovers. I was meant to say the Two of Cups. Now, the Hangman in the reverse can talk about someone who is, you know, discontented. It talks about stagnation. Again, this could be someone who is struggling financially here. But this talks about... Um, Someone not being enlightened. This talks about negative patterns, detachment. What's the hangman in the reverse? Disinterest. Yeah, maybe this is why you're leaving this person out in the cold. You know some truth about them. Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. What's the Eight of Pentacles and Queen of Cups? The Lovers. What about the lovers? Something to do with the past. Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. It landed on the Ace of Cups. I don't know if this person is with a Queen of Cups energy. Maybe this is something to do with some sort of work affair or somebody they met at work or something like that. What's a chariot? Yeah, it's almost like I wanted to say, who cares? <laughs> and I just saw 14, 14 on the clock. Which would boil down to 5-5. Five, five. So again, an energy of the number 10. What's the chariot? Moving forward. <clears throat> the page of wands. Good news. Good choice. But again, you know, it can talk about communication here. I feel like there's some sort of news coming towards you. Clarify the chariot and the page of wands. The five of swords. Mm. This is someone who is feeling defeated. The way I'm seeing this Five of Swords today is an energy of someone who is heartbroken. And again, it's energy of the Two of Swords being at a crossroads. He has three swords in his hand and there's two swords on the floor. 
Why the Five of Swords? Seven of Wands again. Six of Cups again and the Three of Wands. Yeah, this makes the Ten of Wands. I'm telling you that Saturn return is... Uh, what's this moon? <laughs> yeah, they're saying, whoop, there it is. <laughs> remember? I don't know if you guys remember that. I don't know. Yeah, the Tower. <laughs> the Death card and the Ten of Pentacles. What's the moon? The Four of Wands landed on the Wheel of Fortune. There she go again. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Some of you, I don't know. It makes me want to say, for some of you, this person may be married. Yeah, they may be questioning if they made the right choice here. <laughs> What's the energy in love? <laughs> Virgo's in a little fire sign. We have children and then we have finances and career. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. It says your love life is being affected by children. I'm telling you, there's something here to do with child support or something like that. Show me more. Three cards. What's the energy in love? I get one more. Thank you. Yeah, you have the bolt at the bottom of the deck. It says receiving what you need. It says progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. <laughs> so the first one that's coming out here, it says twin flames. And it landed on that courthouse. So this could be, you know, like... Uh, Something to do with, like I said, spiritual law, right? Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a legal situation in the 3D. You have yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. This could even be a twin for some of you. <laughs> you. You have seduction. It says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party and interference. And then you have coming out sideways because there's hesitation here. You have the love cord. It says someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. <laughs> I really feel like spirit is being funny today. They've been doing the most with the songs. Now they're saying, um, how does it go? Is it good night, sweetheart, but it's time to go? Oh, isn't that from the movie Three Men and a Baby? Okay, do you know what? Spirit are doing too much. There's something here about somebody hiding their sexuality. So you have, I wish I had treated you better. I knew exactly what I was doing. It says, I know that I crossed the line with you. It says, I feel you even though we are apart. No shit, Sherlock. It says twin flames. Um, you have a hope that you can forgive me one day. Forgive, forgiveness is always good, Virgos, as long as you get the truth. And then at the bottom of the deck, you have sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So what is the T on this person? <laughs> Just six cards. Thank you, Spirit. It says moving on. It says thank you next. You have inside scoop. It says a closer look. It says nosy up in your business. <laughs> you have a romantic love affair it says sex fix and secret lover oh gosh you have girl fight it says arguments physical fight at war com competing so again i don't know if they're moving on from a third party someone they have maybe some sort of arguments or disagreements with yeah look at this it says shine. It says your light irritates their demons. Well, they should stop looking. Look at that. When I was talking about the song, TLC Creep. You got creeping at the bottom of the deck. Uh, what is romantic love affair? You have in their head. It says overthinking, stressed and overanalyzing. Yeah, and you got bad reputation at the bottom of the deck. could also be something here about you know 
how someone makes their money or I don't know. There's some sort of secrets here when it comes to lust or intimacy or whatever. Spirit, give me a card for this person. What's the energy for the fire sign? <laughs> Maybe they ain't got no energy. <laughs> What's the energy for this person, Spirit? <laughs> oh lord okay so we have shit is going down with your job i did say i don't know if something it was like a work affair or something like that is being exposed uh, it says reevaluate change your perspective or fucking quit now for others of you i get this energy i don't know if you work with this person but they may have wanted you to stop doing something that you're doing or something like that you have you do you it says stop trying to change people that shit never works so i almost said just oh some of you are dealing with a narcissist and then you have stop fucking whining <laughs> it says no one wants to listen to that shit it says complaining makes you weak it says you have the strength to change your world so do it mm. so this could be someone also who has like some sort of victim mentality all right, what's the energy going forward? Virgo's in with a fire sign. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Divine masculine says yang. It says masculine energy. Show me more. Why are you coming in the reverse? What is it? You have, oh, they don't want to escape. But it says escaping, avoiding, blocking, and pushing away. What's the energy going forward? confusion it says uncertain unclear unsure mm. give me one on this divine masculine you have chemistry attraction spark and passion show me more about this divine masculine and you have only you it says devoted attached and crave and look at the bottom of the deck apology forgiveness return and sorry look at that right behind it loyalty but damn look what's behind it rejection <laughs> Virgos, that is what I have for you if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo, or a Sagittarius. I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe, love and light.